So this is, this is the head we got, we've got here. I want you all to uh, join me in welcoming the state of Alabama's own Mr. Jim Rogers. Gosh, thank you. Uh, should sit down now after, after that introduction. But the first thing you, I want to emphasize to you, because it's extremely important, and that's the rise of China. Most people are aware something's going on in China now, but most people do not understand the full depth and breadth of what's happening in China, including most people in China. But China is the next great country in the world, whether we like it or not. There's certainly a lot of people who don't like it. But the 19th century belonged to the UK, the 20th century belonged to the US, the 21st century is going to be the century of China. Uh, the best advice I can give you, the single best advice I can give you of any kind, is to learn Mandarin, to learn Chinese, or if you're grown up, to teach your children or your grandchildren Chinese, because it's going to be the most important language in their lifetime. You need to understand that as we speak, the largest creditor nations in the world are now in Asia. The money is now in Asia. You know who the debtors are, and you know where they are. Unfortunately, the United States is now the largest debtor nation not just the largest debtor nation in the world, the largest debtor nation in the history of the world. So I would suspect that in my children's lifetimes and yours, America, unfortunately, will have more crises or more semi-crises. Hopefully one of them will make us hit bottom and then we can start over again. You must understand this if you want to. You, you, can, you don't have to not focus on the U.S. because certainly plenty of people will make fortunes in the U.S. and have wonderful happy lives, but the easy money, the easy life, the easy success is going to be in Asia or doing something with Asia in the next 100, 200 years. You've got to also understand currencies in your lifetime. The US dollar is and has been the world's reserve currency. That's in the process of changing. That's going to have a significant, a huge impact on you in your lifetime. So this staggering competition now in finance at a time when the debts are huge in the financial communities, huge, huge, huge debts, and a time when governments are coming down hard on financial types. They're passing laws and taxes and everything else because everybody's very angry at the financial types. And many of you have aspirations to going into the financial world, whether it's Wall Street, banking, insurance, finance, whatever. In my view, that is a terrible mistake because finance is going to be a very bad place to be for the next 10 or 20 years. Bonds don't always go up just because they have in your lifetime. In my view, we're making a top in bonds, and bonds soon will make a top and go down for many years. If any of you has af have aspirations to being in the bond market or bond portfolio managers or something like that, I would urge you to get another job because that's not going to be a very successful place to be. My view, if you really want to make a lot of money, uh, and if you're interested, you should go into where the bull market is, and this current bull market is with real goods. Even if you're not terribly smart, even if you're a dimwit, you're still going to make a lot more money than all the stockbrokers. The stockbrokers in the next decade are going to be driving taxis, and the farmers are going to be driving the Lamborghini. Advice that I would give you is to figure out what your own passions are. Don't listen to your professors, don't listen to your parents, don't listen to me. Figure out your own passions and pursue them, no matter how foolish people think they are. If your friends think it's foolish what you really want to do, but it's something you really love, that's what you should do coming out of Tuscaloosa or coming out of any phase of your life. It's not so much what I studied at Yale or Oxford as the fact that it was far away far, far away. I had totally new experiences, different cultures, different lives, etc. And that, to your question, that is what really changed my life more than anything else. And I would urge all of you to get out of here, when you get out of the University of Alabama, to get out of Alabama for a while. You can always come back. You certainly always come back, but it's going to make you learn more going out there into the world for a couple of years learning other cultures, you'll learn a lot about yourself, you'll learn more about Alabama, being out of Alabama, 
Well, I haven't been to the University of Alabama in a while, and I was very pleased to come here. I, there were very intelligent questions. I was very surprised to see the, the breadth of the student body. There were students from many more countries than there were in the old days, and so it's been a very good experience all around.